pictured Sarah Lucas at the British Pavilion. Sarah Lucas is crazy, we know. And uh, the exhibition is uh, great. Statues uh, and some, let's say, erotic. So I'll let you talk about her. Uh, Sarah's made a completely new body of work for her commission for the British Pavilion. And, but the work is at once familiar and yet it is new. It's familiar in the sense that she's relating to uh, the, the female and the male form, so the body form. And it's, it's following in the line of much of her work over the last 25 years. She's now an artist, uh, 52 years of age, um, and working pretty much at the height of her powers. She's, so when I say it's familiar, it's familiar in the content because it, she uses domestic appliances, she uses furniture, it's the a cast of, of human form, and it's familiar to people who know Sarah Lucas's work from before because it includes a lot of the material that she has worked with before, like cigarettes, toilets, um, tabloid newspapers, uh, and, and tins of spam, all things that have appeared in her work over a long period of time. But it is a very, uh, I think, quite a, a de there is something of a departure in it in the exhibition because it's quite formal in a sense, very beautifully installed. Um, she's painted the walls of the galleries yellow. This is the question, why this yellow? All the same yellow throughout. Um, two large sculptures have been made, both of which are painted yellow. One stands on the portico of the British Pavilion, the other stands in the main gallery of the British Pavilion. The walls being yellow in a sense she felt unified the exhibition, unified the sculpture. Um, she's made body casts from, of herself and of female friends, and the casts are in plaster, so they're very white. So the white, in a, in a sense, works beautifully with the yellow. She's referred to it as being a bit like a dessert. The white of the plaster casts are like uh, meringues, and the yellow is rather like custard. Um, it, it does give it a sort of painterly feel, and uh, yellow is a colour that's always been associated with Sarah Lucas, primarily because of, we think of her because of the use of fried eggs. So yellow is a, is a predominant theme throughout the show. She is uh, very involved in female conditions, uh, and then even violence, uh, if I have to say. There are lots of statues that were presented here in the Giardini, I think two years ago, four years ago, I don't remember, but in the Giardini, in the Scarpa area, yes. that were powerful. Some of this kind of work is here. Yes, she, it's absolutely true. Um, two years ago, she was invited to show in the central pavilion in the Carlo Scarpa design sculpture court. And I think the invitation came quite late to be in that exhibition. Um, but she was invited to show in essentially what is an outdoor court. There is covering, but it's open to the elements. So she decided she would use bronze. And um, although she's a very established sculptor who's cast uh, her work in the past, dating right back to the beginning, but in materials like concrete and plaster and rubber rather than bronze. So bronze has come quite late into her practice. And the, the work she showed two years ago, which were like biomorphic forms. They were sort of male, female, quite hard to tell, quite sexual. Some of them seemed to have protuberances which looked rather like phalluses. It wasn't clear whether they were male or female. They were like a morph of both male and female. Um, they were relatively small in scale, um, but nonetheless very strong, and they were, they were cast in bronze with a very high golden, shiny ret uh, pattern. Um, for this show, she's made two, the two very large works she's made, the one on the portico, the one in the central main gallery, uh, are like variants of that. They've extended that, that same theme, as it were, except these are very proudly made. They're reclining figures. Um, it's exactly the same sculpture, but in, in different colours. Uh, and the figures recline, but with very um, large, erect phalluses which rise up into the, up into the air. Um, they were made purposefully for this show, and actually the scale of the gallery, the main gallery, and the scale of the portico, the heights, were very much in her thinking when she made these works. But it's true to say they are a kind of extension 
of the work she was making that she showed here two years ago. Except in this case, they're cast in resin rather than bronze, partly because it's a weight consideration, um, and they're painted in a very high gloss yellow. The one on the portico in a, a yellow that's called um, Golden Cup, and the one in the Ming Gallery in a yellow that's actually called Deep Cream. Last question, why the cigarettes everywhere and in such strange places of the body? Can you just repeat that? The cigarettes. Ah, the cigarettes. She's, the, the body casts that she's made are the lower halves of female bodies. Um, and she's, she's actually enlivened these parts by inserting cigarettes in the orifices of the lower parts of the bodies. And in her mind, it's in a sense, it's kind of giving them a life. It's, it's, she has referred to it as a kind of titillation, if you like, but it, it does give them a kind of life. It's also very much a kind of Sarah Lucas signature. She's a famous smoker herself. She's always used cigarettes in her work, and somehow the cigarettes were the necessary ingredient to make this absolutely full-scale Sarah Lucas show. Thank you.